trouble. Earnhardt Jr. is around, slid off the racetrack into another car, and oh. Tony Stewart just catches I don't think him I with the right nose. I don't think I heard either car. Jr. didn't hit anything. He got in the same situation that caused that first wreck. Had a car down under him. The car kept coming up. Junior didn't have anywhere to go. They're three wide yeah. here. Go four wide. Here. See Michael go down on the bottom, and Junior's four wide again, and he gets loose, and he just can't he can't hang on to it. Carl Edwards in the 99 on the outside of him. Boy, and t that Tony basically, I believe Tony probably saved him because he would have probably backed up there and hit the end. Here you go. He's going to go through this little hole right here, but there's another car over on the other side over there, making it full wide, getting down in here, and it just gets him a little loose. Can't hang on to her. See his car walk up the racetrack just ever so slightly and get loose. Watch as Stewart comes in. Nope. All right, Junior's in. Matt's there. Mike, they've already changed the right side tires. Now they're going to work on that left front valence area. Marty Oni has already beat it out pretty well with a hammer. Just slight cosmetic damage. But boy, it sure could have been a lot worse. Remember, this is really nothing for this team. When they won here a couple years ago, they pitted 13 times before they finally got it right, and then he went to victory lane that day. He short is in the pit. He has definitely got some right front damage. Crew chief Greg Zipanelli has told the crew, take your time, don't rush, get it right. That is most important. The reminder, Matty just gave it to you back in 2003, that the eight car with Junior at the wheel won with a badly damaged nose, Stewart's car. A lot of people thought he was going to win, and they're working on his nose too. Who knows? It might even be faster after all this.